just my luck. No money left. Hi everybody, this is Black Runner Ranger. Unfortunately, getting a quick early job in Malaysia is not as easy as I thought it was. I mean, I'm struggling on writing a few books. I mean, I thought of doing something kind of different, something unfamiliar to the eyes of the Malaysians or any tourists of Malaysia. Well, um, there's the Firefly thing. I thought maybe that can spread the awareness of Malaysia, even though we kind of have Princess and the Frog for that. There's also a story about the three Asian rhinos, the rhino, the Indian rhino, the Javan rhino, and the Sumatran rhino coming together. And then somebody wants me to write a story about a dog and a cat. I was like, um... We've had a lot of that. Snoopy, Garfield, Lady and the Tramp, 101 Dalmatians, Aristocats. Comment on how many else you've heard of. They don't want... Malaysia... There's one problem with Malaysia. Um, it doesn't want to do new stuff. It likes to follow other people. They basically like to do with cliches. Mumbling idiot dead? They'll accept that. Um, bump on the head amnesia? They'll accept that. Um, the liar revealed, the misunderstanding? They'll accept that. A cockatrice that has glasses and works for a living? They won't accept that. They, they're like, what? What? <laughs> um, so, anyways, going off topic for a minute. Th that's not what I was talking about here. What I'm going to talk about is, um, is it worth it to have your imaginator as a figure or an imaginator card? Um, for the figure, it might go well because you get to play as your imaginator as that particular just like like a regular particular Skylander and you can even play with it locally without the use of the computer I mean that's not I mean the I mean the Skylanders in game thing is not the only reason why they're made as figures you can also play as them locally like um, like legendary rollerball Zroom, zroom, zroom. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, there's also the card. Now, there the cards have a lot of it. Both the cards and the figure have advantages and disadvantages. The the greatest disadvantage is that it has limited qualities and. When it the way it's displayed may not be the way you expect it to be. It may cause something distracting it, or it may not be the right color, or it's just um, I don't know, not fully done. It may come off as itty bits, unsuitable. That, that which is why there's this big casing because the plastic is kind of vulnerable. In all honesty, I wouldn't. The only imaginator I. I can think of that would have a perfect scenario for being a figure would be Drainstorm. But if you go for the card instead, it it has a better better high quality. You can see it as a card. It functions the same way as uh, the Swap Force UFO hat. Just place it on the portal, and you get to play as that character. No problem. Another disadvantage for having the imaginative figures is that it's highly it's highly pricey. I mean, let's go to, let's go let's count the price in uh, imaginators the U.S. Um, let's see. Um, see this. Um, it's about half the price. Half the price. Of a regular Skylanders Imaginator starter pack, and is that money? And it's and that's about uh, 
Um, how much is it for the uh, senses? It's it's uh in seven goes go sensei uh, cost. Here it is, cost. Okay, how much does it cost in Let me try price. Uh, pre-order. Let's let's uh, let's have a look at the. Oh wait, I forgot I'm not in the right country. Let's see the UK. It's not the. Okay, the. All right, let let me try eBay. Imaginators eBay. The pre orders. By the way, I'm I'm still having a bit of a struggle with the Skylander getting Skylanders in Malaysia thing. Thankfully, um my my uncle who lives in Malaysia has an account has a US account and he says he's able to um, help me with the scenario. On this, I managed to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, allergies. I managed to do a lot of pre ordering. I managed to get to, I managed to pre order the, uh, the villains and the girls. I have pre ordered Wolfgang, Hoodsickle, Tycoon Clone, Dr. Crankcase, and the Chompy Mage. And I pre ordered Aurora, Amber, Barbella, and Chopscotch. I won't get any um of the sky. I won't be able to get Skylanders Imaginator as a game in um. Anyways, um, in, until until Christmas. So be patient. Anyways, let's take a look here. It says thirty dollars by pre-order. Yeah, that's that's more. That's about um. Let's see. Uh. Fifty. That's twenty dollars less than how much it would cost as a figure. But for the Imaginator card, it's only about fifty fifteen U.S. dollars. So let's see how much for the crystals. Let's see. Um, how much for the crystals? Oh, this trigger safe. What is it showing me of the oldies? Here it is, the live action crystal safe. Ah, it's only uh, it's only twenty it's twenty dollars. That's five dollars. It's the same price. So which so which is more worth it, having your imaginator as a card or having your imaginator as a figure? I personally wouldn't mind having a lot of my imaginators as cards. I mean, I plan about a hundred imaginators. And having the crystals may take up a lot of room, but then again, I have I have to go back to England or U.S. I heard I heard you can ship. Heard some people can have it outside you. Yes, I mean I, I let's see let's see um uh creator. Oh, by the way, fellow Zipcast is down. Here it is. Here, wait, 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 wait. Um, ah, um, character. Here it is. Um, here it is. Ah, here it is. If I say plus shipping outside of North America. Okay, so we might we may be able to get this game. In um, okay, let me let me see if I can change uh, to UK. It's basically the same price as the UK. 
And um, but I heard the currency is a lot different compared to UK and America. Let's see here. Um, one USD to Great British pounds. Hmm. So okay, very very close, very close. Hmm. So yeah, one more time. Is it worth it to get a, them as a card, or do you? Is it worth it to get them as a figure? The card for me, it's the card because it takes up a lot of room, and I get to see them high quality in the card, and it functions the same way as the Swap Force UFO card. What do you all? What do you think about this, fellas? Oh, speaking of which, I wonder if the Swap Force card works in Imaginators. If it doesn't, well. Well, uh, well, might as well try and sell it on eBay. Hope you've enjoyed this video.